Hi everyone, um, this is notes E um, for checkpoint number three. So this is gonna be a lot of graphing. We have briefly looked at graphs on the demos in checkpoint two, but for checkpoint three, we're actually going to be making our own graphs. So we're gonna start with the objective for today. Um, it's a really short one. I'm gonna show it on my screen. So if you could, in your notes, go ahead and put this yellow sentence in that first box for what is the objective. So this box right here. And you can pause the video if you need to, but the objective is I can find solutions to a system of functions. So remember we're using graphs, but we're gonna use our graph to find solutions. So that is the objective today. After you have that filled out, let's go ahead and get into our first example. So you can see that I'm giving you an equation and I'm asking you to graph it. Um, just remember what kind of equation this is. This is a linear equation. Um, it looks just like our picture here, y equals mx plus b. Remember what these different parts is, are, um, right? So our m is our slope. We're gonna be calling m um, slope a lot today instead of rate of change. Um, we've been using rate of change a lot for word problems. We're gonna use m and we're gonna call it slope for graphs. And then b, um, we usually have been calling that our starting value in our word problems. For graphs, we're gonna call it the y-intercept. Okay, so remember those two parts, they're not different parts, we're just gonna use different words for them, slope and y-intercept, okay? So let's start with this first equation. So I always wanna start with the y-intercept, which is in this equation is gonna be negative eight. That's where my first point is gonna go. And we're gonna use these blue points here and we're gonna put them on this graph. So if my y-intercept is negative eight, I have to look at my y-axis, which is the one that's going up and down. And I'm gonna put my first point at negative eight. Now you can just click and drag it like I did, or when you click on the point, you can use the arrows on your keyboard to move it up and down, which sometimes students like to do. It's whatever you wanna do. So my first point is gonna be at negative eight, and you can see it's right over top of negative eight. Um, don't leave it off to the side. You want it to be right at, on negative eight, right at that point, okay? Now, how am I gonna graph the rest of these points and to actually make a graph and to make a line? Well, that's where I'm going to be using my slope. My slope is one over two, right? One half. Now, in a math class, I'm hoping you've seen slope and I'm gonna make it the same color that I actually highlighted my slope in. I'm hoping you've seen slope as rise over run. And let me make this box a little bigger as well. Hopefully you've seen it as rise over run. And rise means how much are you going up or down? And then run means how much are you going left or right? So looking at our slope, we have one over two rise over run. So that means when I grab this next point, I'm going to start at my original point, negative eight, and I'm going to rise or go up one. So watch how I move this point up one line to negative seven. And then I'm going to run or I'm going to move to the right two. So I'm going to take that point and go over one line two lines. Now, if you notice, there's no negative signs here. So everything is up and to the right, up and to the right. Everything's positive. Okay. That's my second point. Now I'm going to keep graphing the rest of these points. Every point you grab, put it over your last point. So I'm going to put it over this last point and I'm going to be going up one, rising one and right two. Just make sure you're always counting the lines. Be very careful. Make sure those points are right on the line. And I'm gonna keep going here. I'm gonna grab my next point. I'm gonna put it over my last one. And then again, I'm gonna go up one line and right two. And then I'm gonna finish this line up, up one, right two, and then up one, right two. So now off of this equation, I built a graph, I built a straight line. Um, for this checkpoint, we're not gonna connect our lines. We're just gonna leave it as it is, but you can see clearly that these points make a line, okay? 
Um, let's do another example. So let's go to slide two. Same thing. Um, I'm given an equation. I need to make a graph. So I always start with my y-intercept. That y-intercept is negative four. <clears throat> That's where my first point's going to go. And it has to be on this y-axis. So it has to be at negative four on the y-axis. And again, right over that negative four. Now, my slope is negative two. And this looks different than my last slope, right? My last slope was a fraction. I had a nice rise over run. Um, this one, I don't have a fraction. I have just two. If you ever have a whole number like negative two, we need to make it into a fraction um, so we can actually have our rise over run. So you can make any whole number into a fraction by putting it over one. So I'm gonna say this is actually negative two over one. Now I have my rise over run, okay? Now my rise is negative two. Negative means I'm going down. Last time it was a positive one, so I went up. This time it's a negative two, so I'm going down, okay? But the one, that run, is still positive, so I'm still gonna go to the right. So watch how this works, okay? I'm gonna grab my first point. I'm gonna start at my um, original point. I'm gonna go down two, one, two, but I'm still going to the right one, okay? I'm gonna grab my next point. I'm gonna put it over my last one. I'm gonna go down two over one. And then let's try it again. I'm going to go down two and write one. If you see, I'm like going to go off the graph, but I still have two points left, right? If you ever want to take your line and go the other way, so go the opposite way, just do the opposite motion. So watch what I do here. I'm going to take this point and I'm going to start over the original, but instead of going down to right one, I'm going to do the opposite motions. I'm going to go up to left one so I can make my line, because lines go both ways forever. It can go up and down forever. So I just do the opposite motion. So I'm gonna do up to left one. So that's ever if you wanna make your line go the opposite way, just do the opposite motion. And there again is another line. Um, that'll be it for.